welcome back to my youtube channel so this is the concluding part of the previous tutorial like i said the line work was a little bit or the nail art on it was a little bit too much and i took a lot of time so i decided to split the video into two the first part was the acrylic um the acrylic tutorial part and now is the nail art part so sit down or sit back relax and enjoy this tutorial if you're coming across my channel for the first time my name is Ademido Abimbola I'm a nail technician based in Lagos State Nigeria all I do on this channel are product reviews nail tutorials and a little bit of vlogging if you like what you see on this channel kindly consider subscribing to become part of the family and when you're subscribing, you can turn on the notification bell to all so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. I'm using uh, a pink gel polish by Venalisa. I can't remember the number on the bottle. I think it's about, I think 902 or 903 thereabouts. I can't remember. If I remember, I'm going to put it on the screen so you guys can see it. I like um I don't have um a painting gel and I prefer using um Vanessa gel polish to do my nail art because of their consistency. They are thick enough to replace a painting gel and despite the fact that the fact that they are thick, they stick here very well. Unlike some other products that when you use them they are thick and they don't cure properly they start lifting after some days so i'm using vanessa gel polish to do the nail art i'll also be using um i think white sugar is a form of tiny glitters that we use to for nail art so i'll be using that to finish this line work so this line work can have uh, a shimmery, a shimmery finish. Yes, I think I got that right. Like I used to say in all my videos, I don't like drawing, but in this profession where I found myself, I must um, draw a bit, and that's why I think it's taking so much time to do this line work. I don't know how, how long it takes others to do the line work. If you're so good at line work and you're watching this video i'd like you to leave a comment about about how long it takes you to finish um your line work on a particular finger nail so um the nail i used for this um, particular um tutorial was gotten from aliexpress it is a extra extra long um c curve square nails i think i I think I got that right. I'll be leaving the link in the description box. They are very long. I love it because they are long. I've not had this kind of length among all my nails. And after I fixed it, fix the tip, even though they are square, they still needed a little bit of um, shaping on the sides so they can so that they could be straight, very straight. I really square. So I've done a little bit of work on it. Now, like I said, I'll be leaving the link in the description box. So if you know that you can't draw very well or you don't like drawing, you don't have to draw your nails. You have we have stickers. We have a lot of other things you can use to beautify your your work instead of drawing. So I'll be pouring the sugar now. I've not cured the gel polish after doing the line work. So I'll be pouring the sugar on it first before I cure it in the UV lamp for 60 seconds. So after curing, I'll be dusting the excess of the sugar off with a brush. Because I still have to do another line work on the other finger, I think I'll be dusting everything after I'm done with all the line work. Please do not dust off with the brush before curing the 
work because if you try that you're going to smudge everything and you're going to have to start all over again so on this particular finger i'm going to be doing like a, sh um, a straight line but it's going to be a little bit wide in form of a what i call it now in form, in form of a rectangle i don't know i'm sure i'm going to be doing a straight line and because i can't draw straight a straight line i'll be doing it little by little till i get to the tip I don't know if I had a longer brush. I actually have a longer nail art brush, but I find it very difficult to use it. Maybe because I started with this, I'm used to this. I've been using this brush for the past six years. So I find it very easy to use this one than the uh, long nail art brush. So I'll be using this, and it's going to take a, a while for me to perfect the sides because the short brush and the length of the nail is longer. So after getting this particular one, so I'm going to pour the sugar on it as well. Dust it off a little bit, cure it, then bring it out to come and dust it, or the, dust it off with a brush. I've actually added this sugar for a while now, I think almost a year. But I really don't use it, I kept my drawer. So when I saw it on PQ Colony channel, when she was using that in a recent video, I remembered that I have this thing in my wardrobe now. Let me create a set with it as well, because I so much love that set she created. I couldn't even replicate it because there was a lot of um, artwork involved. She drew some lovely petals there, which I can't. So I decided to do my own with the sugar and this is how I arrived at this also the transfer foil that I used I've had it for a while for about three years I've not really had a, a cost to use it one a lot of my clients don't really like something too loud so when I bring it out they was like oh, no 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 it's too much I don't want it it's too flowery I don't want it then also because I didn't have um, a good transfer foil gel and the last time I tried it, it didn't really transfer well so when I got this transfer foil uh, gel by, from Rosalind I decided to try it again and it was okay, it was just over, it was okay so now that I've used it, I, I, I said okay let me just do something and I tried it with this other foil and it came out really nice so I hope if my client sees this, I hope they'll be trying, they'll be willing to try some of these things because if using it actually under the acrylic, turning into an ombre, is not that bad. It's not too in your face, but it is just there that there's a pattern underneath the, the, the acrylic. So now I'm dusting it off with, the, with my um, acrylic brush so this is what we have I'll be applying um, crystals in that particular row so I'll be picking from the biggest and going down to the smallest now I have um, I'll also be using a caviar beads yes to support to support the crystals on the sides now let me give you a little gist about um, my first time using the caviar beads. So after I bought this from AliExpress, the, I think the first set I got was mixed with purple, black, and gold. So a client came and she was interested in using that particular one, and I did not know how to use it. Hmm. I thought I was going to use it under um, an acrylic enhancement. So after fixing the tip, I actually poured the caviar beads on the nail and I attempted to use acrylic bead, acrylic um, clear acrylic powder to cover it. It was a disaster. You know, after I finished that particular set, I kept looking at it like ah, something's not right, something's not right with this set. Thank God I used it for just one finger for the client because it was looking so bulky and not nice. And I was like, ah, what is wrong with this thing? It was after a while, you know, I started thinking about it and I discovered that I actually applied it 
the wrong way. I did not know why um, I didn't even think of going to YouTube to check how to use it. Okay, I think then, so I didn't know how to use YouTube to check topics that I wanted to check. I just come to YouTube and see random videos and I just watch them. So that is that. Thank God the clients came back after that one because some other people would have not come again. They would just stop coming and you won't know why they stopped coming. If you are still watching this video and you are yet to subscribe to my channel, kindly click on the subscribe button below. It's a red button which says subscribe. Click on it to join this family. Also, you can turn the notification bell to all so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Don't forget to like this video, leave a positive comment. And also share to anyone that you think might be interested in learning something new. Thank you. If you like this extra extra long tutorial and you want me to do more of it, kindly let me know in the comment section. And if you prefer the old, medium and short length also, kindly let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment. And subscribe if you haven't. Till next time. Bye. And if you are watching this, you are yet to watch the part one. Kindly go to the previous video and watch it. Thank you.